Now I'm known for breaking some unspoken rules and getting my pass pulled on a ski resort. So in this video, I'm here to tell you guys some unspoken rules, some rules at the ski resort that you might not know that will absolutely get your pass taken away from you. So let's go over them so you don't get your pass taken away because it sucks, which we all want to ski and snowboard. So here we go. All right, the first unspoken rule is this one of the flow of traffic and giving skiers and riders safe space. You know, one of the rules is like three tree distances apart. Don't be like creeping up on somebody but also the flow of traffic is the speed limit of the run if you run into someone because you were going a lot faster than the person below you now you're in trouble you're the person that's going to get the fast pulled and be sued things like that so the flow of traffic is the speed limit for the run just because you can go faster than everyone doesn't mean that is the proper speed for that run now that doesn't mean someone's going to come over and and just pull you over because you were snowboarding fast unless you see one of these slow signs right here and these slow signs are tricky because you will see that sign and you think, oh, I got to go slower right here. But once I get a little bit past it, I can like start going fast again. Or you might think that that sign is warning you that this next section is slow. That's what I used to think when I first started skiing and snowboarding. But what that is saying is this entire run is a slow zone. You need to be going once again, the flow of traffic. I was even told that you got to go the speed of the slowest rider, which is crazy. So yeah, these slow signs are implying that this whole area, this whole run that we're on is a slow run and you got to go the slow speed, which is very vague. Because if you did go the slowest of the rider, you'd be going that slow which like let's be real <laughs> now something they have done is they've implicated slow whole runs on ski maps now not every resort is doing this but some resorts will indicate this entire run is a slow run so keep an eye out for the slow signs now on the topic of signs something that is majorly frowned upon is the spraying of them so if i came by this sign and i went and cuff caked it with snow you can get your passport for that literally spraying a slow sign spraying any type of sign that the resort has put up because by spraying it technically they can knock them over which then now there's no sign so the mountain safety ski patrol guys will pull your pass if you spray a sign all right this next one i've had multiple people reach out to me this year about this so upper Ida bell is closed this is a closed trail now if i go into these trees right here that are not roped off but i end up on this run i have now entered a closed run and i need my pass pulled. doesn't matter that i came through the trees i can ride these trees they're not closed they're not roped off but if i end up on a closed run by going through trees you are now on a closed run and you can get your pass pulled for being on closed terrain now more terrain is opening up thankfully and hopefully we get snow this weekend that opens up more runs and once everything's open you can basically go everywhere but if you go through trees and you end up on something that is closed because they close runs for safety reasons, whether that's avalanche or heavy equipment, whatever it is, if you end up on it and they see you there, you are now losing your pass. So be careful. If you want to ride these trees, that's fine, but make sure you don't show up on Upper Ida Bell because you might lose your pass. Now, before I continue this video, we do got to mention today's video sponsor, the Nibiron Pro Series Heated Gloves. I've always wanted to try a pair of heated gloves because I was like, you know, sometimes you need them. It's very cold on the mountain and these things work incredibly well. Of course, they're fully waterproof gloves. I was doing lay down cars today, my hands still super dry. These gloves still super dry. If three different heating settings, the green is low, blue is medium, red is high. I've done all three settings. The high one is very toasty. It takes only three seconds for this system to start kicking in which is incredible the battery sits right up here and has about eight hours of use time which that's about a full day of riding so if you're gonna go full pole open to close at a ski on a freezing cold day these are gonna last the whole day for you they got these nice slip resistant padding that make it durable as well in the grip so you can anything you're holding like my cameras and stuff i'm not worried about dropping them they have a 200 permeability rating which are going to keep you warm and dry in the glove and they also have 3m's insulate insulation which are going to keep you super dry and warm on the mountain these are going to become my heavy duty cold weather day gloves i like them the last things I want to mention are like these nice little pull tabs to really crank it down so snow's not getting down there. You can pull them fully over your gear. And the biggest perk of all for gloves, the leashes, so they don't fall off the lift on you. I love having this with my gloves. So if you guys want to grab a pair, use the link in the description. Nibiron, thank you for sponsoring this video and sending me the warmest pair of gloves I've ever had in my life. All right, let's keep this going. Now we're not in the terrain park because we're on school month. 
because we needed all these examples. But if you are in the train park, one way to get your pass in the park is by hitting a feature while park crew is working on it, whether they're grooming it, building it, whatever it is. If you see park crew working on a feature, don't touch it, stay away from it. If you hit the kicker while he's working on it, he has the right to come up to you and be like, hey man, I was working on that. You put me in danger, give me your pass. Well, it is gone. So don't hit park features while the park crew's working on it. The next way to get your pass pulled on a ski resort is to jib their things. So like they got all these wood creations over here. I could totally come in here and ollie onto this bench or like bonk this guy with my snowboard in the head or you know jump onto these yellow pads in some way essentially damage any property that the ski resort owns just because there's like the perfect jump to tapping a pad that they have in which might be covering some type of snow equipment whatever it is you touch their stuff in an inappropriate way they will pull your pass so don't jib the cool lawn gnomes that they put up for people to rest on don't jump pads or any product that they own unless you're trying to ride that thin line and get your pass pulled. Now we're searching for the last example of a great way to get your pass pulled on the resort. That's an unspoken rule. But while we ride to that, consider snagging an evolution sticker as well, guys. That really does support the dream. It also comes with guaranteed compliments. We have tons of colors and styles for you guys. If you snag one, tag me on Instagram. I'll give you guys guaranteed sticker shout outs in the vlogs and stuff. And uh, it's rad. Here's another one as well. Are the, I mean, they have them labeled, but snowmobile lanes don't go through those once again we're riding to the next one there she is in all her glory my least favorite sign of them all no jumping they usually put these on the best jumps on the mountain just kind of a bummer but they put them because people sit below the rollers and i want you jumping on people stuff like that but just like the slow sign there's a no jumping sign right here but that also means they don't want you jumping for a hot second now hey and that also includes like, don't jump and skid, don't do anything cute. Like they will pull your pass for doing anything near these no jumping signs. Even if it's just like a tail press or a little like jump skirt. The whole point is they're like, hey, someone might be below here, don't get cute. But once again, they don't want you to jump here and they don't want you to jump for the basically the remainder of this run until you get onto a different run. And then hopefully you should be able to jump again. But I've literally like ridden past a no jumping sign, jumped further down the run and then gotten pulled over and like, hey, this is a no jumping area and you're like come on man just trying to have some fun now those are all the unspoken rules of a ski resort that i know but what are all the unspoken rules of a ski resort that you guys know please comment those down below just in case i missed one because we're hoping to help people not get their pass pulled we want people snowboarding and skiing because that's what we love to do is snowboard and ski so let's not get our passes pulled let's have a good time if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe and as always thanks for watching keep evolving we'll see you guys tomorrow in another video it's daily on this channel we do stuff like this daily.